What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I am myself, and we're out here. We're going to kill it. We're going to get an encounter episode, and we haven't had an encounters episode this entire freaking lock. So I'm very happy that we have an episode that's actually just dedicated to encounters. Nothing to worry about. So this is just going to be a fun, chill, relax, have fun kind of an episode. And honestly, after the last episode, if you guys didn't check it out, iCard right there. Uh, right there crap right there if you guys didn't see it indeed go check it out uh it was a totem and the totem decided it wanted to mess with us so before i do a team recap i'm gonna give you a chance to go over there okay i gave you like two seconds to go over there uh <laughs> not very much of a chance but we're gonna go ahead and do the team recap as we're gonna start with daddy the machamp with sap set present ability cotton guard snatch Brick Break and Storm Throw. We got Pop of the Two Cannon, the newly evolved Pokemon that is going to be changed on the layout. Very exciting with Dark Pulse X Scizor, DDT Punch, and Play Rough. Unfortunately, it did lose a stab as it has Refrigerate, but that's okay. We got Champion with Aqua Jet, Ominous Wind, Brine, and Bounce. We got Jonas with Smackdown Protect, Magnitude, and Low Kick with Comatose's ability. We got Sandy with Weak Armor, Headbutt, Sludge and Dragon Claw as the moves on Sandy. Now, obviously, Sandy having Moonblast is okay. I wish I had Play Rough. Play Rough would have been a thousand times better. But we live with it. We deal with it. And then, obviously, our final team member is Zayden, the Swamper, with Thunder Punch, Waterfall, Steamroller, and Shadow Sneak. Um, How do I feel about our team right now? I feel like our team is in a good state of um tranquility. But, uh, I feel like... The team doesn't have too many things that are lacking, which is amazing because it's scary when you have, like, lacking scenarios. Now, obviously, there is a lot of repeating typings, and I'm hoping that we can get that cleared out in the Encounters episode. Obviously, things aren't going to be replaced unless we lose them on, but, um, you know, it's just, it it is a lot, oh, not items, we want to move the Pokemon. It's just a lot better, and it feels a lot nicer when you have a cleaner team. And right now, our team is a little bit of a mess, but we uh, we we strive for the messes. As oh my god, wait, Sandy can learn liquidation. Sandy, of course, you're learning liquidation. Um, actually, do I want to learn that over Sludge? Yes, I do, because Sludge is special! I didn't know Sludge was special, actually, so that's good to know. Damn, Sandy, out here learning liquidation? Okay! Sandy's gonna be amazing. I already love Sandy so much. Okay, Mega Drain. Sacred Sword is also physical, but nobody can learn it. And Rest, which we don't want to learn, so that's good. I'm so... Th that's crazy that Sandy can learn it. Like, oh, you have Kiawe's Trial. You can purchase more items. Ultra Balls? Ultra Balls? Dang it. Uh, we have uh, we have 31. And lots and lots of things. We have 12 freaking revives. How needs to just shut up and stop giving us revives? Le like, oh my god. Are you kidding me, How We have 12. Not one. Not two. 12. <laughs> That's insane. Wait, are we actually supposed to do this for the, the, uh, the video? I don't think so. No, you, this is actually completely optional, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. It is. It's just a little side thing that I've never seen before. Which is weird, because you would think I would have seen it. But Peel and Oil Ranch is going to give us an inch. Hopefully, like, I want to have Pokemon from every generation. We still don't have that yet. Um, We're still missing a Gen 6 Mon. Which just makes sense, because it's, like, the least amount of Pokemon in that generation. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Oh, yes. This, I, let's go. I'm so, that's exciting. Level 15, hopefully. 15, 11. We can liquidation it. It'll be fine. Um, It's not an extreme randomizer. So liquidation should do, like, I would say, like, 60%. That's my guess. 60%. Um, Because it's going to hurt. It's not going to do nothing. Bruh, look at John and his freaking calcs. Let's go. Dude. I, this is why I'm a competitive battler. This is exactly why you can tell. Like, not a normal person would be like, oh, this will do exactly like 60% and we're fine. 
This is proof. John proves that he's a competitive battler every day until people listen to him. <laughs> um, no, but honestly, like, what? Like, you can't tell me somebody's going to be like, oh, yeah, that does about 60%. Like, just right off the bat without having a calculator. Like, because obviously you would know if I have a calculator. I'd be like, oh, liquidation from this to this with this. Da -da -da -da. Like, no, I just pop 60% out of my just just out of my mind. There's another word that I was going to say, but, you know, that's okay. So, like, this, that, this is just, it just proves that I'm a freaking, whatever it's called, a freaking, um, brain. A competitive battler. There we go. <laughs> I literally said it, and then I forgot it. Um, honestly, though, Decidueye is not a bad Gen 7 Mon. It is actually a good backup because we don't have a Gen 7 Mon in the box right now. So I'm very happy we have it. Dive Ball. So technically, I'm interested to see if this will work. Because technically, it doesn't live underwater. But we fished it up. So... Okay, good to know. If we any, if we fish it up, it counts as being... It, it counts as... It's living underwater. That is very good to know because we will be doing a lot of fishing in today's episode. Not like I literally just got a ton of fishing done in the last freaking or ass shiny lock stream. Dude, that, I can just tell you, that fishing in Gen 6 is freaking bad. I hate fishing in Gen 6. Luckily, I'll have to do it once in verses, but we're going to name this after um, uh, Unique. Or unQ, excuse me. Um, on Q. On Q U. I remember how to spell it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and actually see the summary because I want to know what moves you have and everything else. We've got Fake Tears, Cotton Guard, Crush Claw, and Giga Drain. Not a terrible move set, especially the fact that you are a modest nature. Good to know. Liquid Ooze. I'm perfectly fine with that. And bug memory. Okay. Well, I would like to take the bug memory. We're going to send you to the box. We would like to take the bug memory. Even though that doesn't... What does that help with? There's a mod that that helps with. Is is that Savali? Yes. It is. Okay. Somehow John remembered that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't know how. I don't know how, but I did. And I'm just not going to... I'm going to go with it. Um, so we're gonna go to Melee Melee Island. I feel like... Okay, Melee Melee, C. That's also Melee Melee, C. But there's the beach and the sea. Correct? Yes, I feel like there's the beach and the sea. So I can get a beach and a sea. I can get the uh, Kalai Bay as well. Uh, so that's three. There's three encounters on this island alone that I've yet to get. Um, yeah. Um, so good to know. Uh, cause typically, and the reason why I'm thinking about it, I thought there was five, but I forget that I actually got 10 carat hill when you're supposed to. Um, because surprise, John learned from his previous playthroughs. What? That happens? Like, people actually learn from what they do? Surprise, it happens. John was smart. John remembered that he could actually get that sooner than he did previously. Um, okay. So this is a new encounter that I did not get previously. I so wish that those were actually different things. Um, but yeah, so I have not gotten this. But it will transform into Melee Melee C, doesn't it? At some point. Yeah. Melee Melee C in the beachfront. So, Melee Melee, or the beachfront, our encounter is... Nido Queen. You know what? Solid Gen 1 Mon, not complaining. Uh, what level? Level 15, even better. Um, 
And fortunately for us, we do have a resisted move in Moonblast that I don't think is going to do that much. Ooh, toxic. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We don't like that. Um, also, I don't know why I stayed in, because you're a poison type. That's going to do nothing. <laughs> I knew as soon as I did it, I was like, wait a second. John made a big oofy. And that was the moment John realized he oofied. Um, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into... I don't know. Do I go into Jonas? It doesn't seem like a bad play. Low kick won't do... Well, low kick will not kill. There's no way. And if it does, then we weren't meant to have it. And again, this is another Gen 1 Mon, so like... It doesn't... Like, Decidueye fulfilled a need. As much as Decidueye is not on the team, Decidueye fulfilled a need. Um, and that need being, we didn't have... I don't know. I, low kick just seems like the best play. We didn't have a backup Gen 7 Mon. And so now we do, and that is very, very helpful. Um, and I feel like Needle Queen do uh, doesn't necessarily fulfill a need. Um in that same way, right? Because we've got like hundreds of freaking Gen 1 Mons. And so if I were to lose Nidoqueen, I would not be as upset as if I were to lose Decidueye. Um, of course, do I want to lose a Pokemon? No, I want to have as many Pokemon in the box as possible because um, let's just say we can hit a fan very quickly and <laughs> I don't necessarily want to hit the fan. Um, if I don't have to hit the fan. Um, I want to win, and I want to win with the least amount of, um... Oh, we should just use dive balls from now, uh, for all these encounters. My god. Um, that's crazy. The amount of help that dive balls are giving me. I, I really don't know how. But we take it. Um, and we could get a melee melee C now. Zayden, you're not learning that. And I actually think it might be the most beneficial to give it to us now. Um, we're going to name this thing Kesha because she was very active in my chats before. Um, and I haven't, I miss her. I haven't seen her in a long time, but we're going to name it Kesha. We're going to see Kesha's summary. Kesha has a heavy ball with cleanly, ma queenly majesty. The best. That is Literally the best ability that a freaking Nido Queen could get. Queenly Majesty for the Queen herself? Yas! Okay. You're holding a heavy ball. You got round toxic shadow bone sand attack. Or shadow bone, excuse me. Dude, that's <laughs> the best ability a queen could get. We're gonna send you to the box. Um, yeah, we're gonna place the heavy ball on our back because if you guys don't know, the heavy ball is actually one of the best balls to catch a legendary in. Um, fun fact. So, we actually have a great opportunity of catching Legendary right now. Um, okay. So, first off, Sandy, I'm sorry, but you are going... You are going to be put on the back burner at the moment because you're toxic and I don't want to have you die. You're a really good Mon. Champ if there's, a, there's one Mon that I would let die and that's it. Only one. Okay, Melee Melee C comes over now. Okay. Melee Melee C encounter. Yeah, mask. You know what? Yeah, mask. I'm not I'm not mad. I can I can go ahead and quick ball you and you should be able to be caught. And you're level 18. Wow. We actually got some pretty good Pokemon in the The manifest that we got him. So, I, that's that makes me very happy. We're going to catch this probably first ball. I don't see why not. Um, there we go. Nice. Um, and Yamask. We're going to name Yamask Two-Faced. Because um, that just sounds like a great name for it. Two-Faced the Yamask. Um, F A A C E 
Jeez, I could not type Two Face. I don't know why. I just couldn't type it. Would you like? Uh, well, let's see your summary first. You have. I oh wait, I didn't need to see your summary. I knew you had forewarn. Oopsies. And you and you don't. Wait, Yamask is generation five. I believe. Oh boy. Time to prove John wrong. I think it's Generation 5. But I could be very, 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 very wrong. Um, so I'm hoping I'm not. I'm, I'm really hoping I'm not. Um, and I actually want to go down there and see if that's actually a way that I can get to Kahili Bay. Or is this a roundabout for 10 Care Hill? It's a roundabout. Darn. Um, I'm going to fly. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to. There's no reason not to. Um, I don't know the best way to go. I'm going to go from here. That's, I believe, the best way. I don't know where I'm flying to, not going to lie. Um... Oh shoot! That, that that that's perfect. I straight up did not know where I was going, so I was kind of hoping that that would lead me where I needed to go, and it did. So that's that was fine. That was perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, Ponita, Rabidash, you're lovely. You're lovely. You're lovely. Just saying. Um. Oh my god, Rapidash, one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, obviously, well, the favorite's the mascot, but <laughs> it's definitely up there, in my opinion, as some of the one of the best Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, see where it I know I have repels. I better. A Swellow in here? Okay. It's so weird. Okay, so the biggest thing is, is of course, I'm I'm so hyped for I'm doing a shiny lock, right? Over uh I was gonna say over on Twitch. I don't have a Twitch. Um, well, actually, that's a lie. I technically have a Twitch, but I never use it because I just, I didn't like it as much as YouTube. Um, not, that was not for me. But anyway, I keep like, ooh, can we get a shiny? Are we going to get a shiny? And then I realize I'm doing a shiny lock. And like, I'm not actually going to get a shiny if I'm doing a shiny lock because that's where all the shinies are going to go. Um, but I would, like, I don't know. Like doing a shiny lock, it's been so fun. Like, I'm not even going to deny how fun doing the shiny lock has been. Um, it's hilarious. It's fun to see you all with you. Dang, that's a combo. Oh. Um, I would laugh. Okay, I would laugh so hard if our shiny ended up being Kamo'o oh, just because Aaron was working so freaking hard at getting a Jang Mo'o. Oh. <laughs> like, he shiny hunted that thing for weeks and he still hasn't got He still didn't get it. Um, and so that would be kind of hilarious. That we randomly got a shiny Kamo. -o. Um, honestly, though, I feel so bad. I'd be like, hey, Aaron, guess what I got? And he'll be like, what did you get? And I'll be like, you don't want to know. And he'll be like, why don't you want it? Why don't I want to know? It's like, because you've been hunting this for like weeks and you never, and you didn't get it. And you were using the Masuda method. And I got it in the most interesting way possible um, on camera. Like, I think that's. In, in, like, that's my favorite kind of shinies. If I were to tell you my favorite shiny that I ever got, it would be probably, um, I mean, I guess I only have two options because I'm excluding shiny locks. I'm talking about full odds, like full odd shinies. It would be Zekrom because I was doing a randomizer, right? I was, so because I was doing an, a randomizer, of Ultra Moon, funny enough, the game we're playing right now. Um, it was accidentally 22.5% boosted, right? So I already messed up. And I was training on a route because I didn't know that I could actually... I didn't have, like, the broad knowledge of what PK Hex was. I don't like using PK Hex because I lose IVs and stuff. But if I'm in a pinch, I'll use PK Hex. Um, and I'll just put in the rare candies. But... Um, if I'm not in a pinch, I'm going to just grind naturally. Um, and if I don't lose mons, I don't have to grind. So, you know, having two deaths is actually kind of nice. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, having, like, this is why I, like, not having deaths has been great. So, 
Um, anyway, so I didn't know that it was a thing. I didn't know how to use it and all that stuff until, you know, so I literally was grinding in this bed at about 1.30 in the morning, right? I want to say I included it in the video because I, ha I had to. Um, I legitimately was, I wasn't doing anything. There was nothing that I could think about doing. And I, and I was fighting Dawn fans and Zach Groms and a couple other things in here. Um, and <laughs> I saw this Zach Grom and it wasn't blue, right? It was this greeny, tealy thing. And I thought I saw the shiny pop up. I really did. I was like, I swear that was a shiny that I definitely, oh no, I'm fishing. No, 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 no. I don't want to fish. Um, and so I thought I saw the shiny pop up and then I was looking and I'm like, I don't think Zekrom is green. I think Zekrom is supposed to have blue like hints and blue tints and stuff. And it was green. And I'm like, that looks off. I think it's a shiny. And I, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, it's a shiny. And, Cause uh, mind you, I had at that, that was my first ever shiny. Like a lot of people's first ever shiny was not uh, Zekrom and mine was. And so I didn't know what to do, so I just did the Master Ball, and I was like, I hope this is a shiny, and this is my encounter. Oh, my God. Another powerful Gen 1 Mon. Yay! We can't use it. <laughs> we keep getting power. For we literally have all of the Gen 1 power. Nidoqueen, Zapdos, Mega Mewtwo X, and the Champ. The list goes on with Gen 1. <laughs> That's, that's one of the hardest things. And that's one of the things I'm excited about, though, for uh, Cage Lock Season 3, is that the power can be so real. And it's going to be... That's going to make it so fun. Um, also, don't know what I'm gonna, supposed to do with this. Um, legitimately. I'm going to low kick, because that's resisted, and it shouldn't do too much. Oh, if Grass Knot's your best move to hit me with, that's perfect. Oh, I could have quick balled. What a dummy. Oh, perfect. Uh, that I, I think I'm leaving it up to a roll, but like literally, it's okay. It's okay if I'm leaving it up to a roll. Perfect. We lose an encounter. The only way John can lose an encounter at the end of the episode. I love you guys all so much. You guys are awesome. You make my day. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to watch things like that unfold. Freaking whipping out. Of course you do, Zapdos. Anyway, I love you guys all so much. You guys, again, like I said, make my day. Peace out, guys.